hello guys welcome back again to my channel so if you're new to this channel kindly do not forget to subscribe so it's on a saturday morning and i went for some one two three errand in town but unfortunately what i was exactly looking for i didn't find it like i didn't get it so guess what something came in mind I was cra I had cravings for some Swahili, uh, some Swahili snacks. Actually, they are Kenyan snacks. I will I will call them that because I don't think you can go to any, to any other country you get them. So yeah, I went to get some mabuyu, some achari, yo, some kashata as well. So yeah, this is the store uh, where I do get some my Swahili. <laughs> snacks yeah kenyan snacks i will call them that so that's a cherry as you can see so uh like this store has a lot of them somehow i do not know most of the names there but what i know is they have some kashata some mabuyu some simsim yeah all sort of snacks that you can enjoy while in kenya So guys, on my way back, I was fascinated by the beauty and calmness over the weekend of the city. By the way, if you want to have a good time in, in town, just go over the weekend. It's usually less crowded. Yeah, but during the weekdays, mm -mm, it's something else. <laughs> By the way, Kenya is tourist friendly and it's also safe to tour around the Strait of Nairobi. Just look at the views. It's the views for me. And just the other day, I had errands to do in a place called Isli. So uh, this place is a neighborhood in Nairobi, Kenya, and it's known for its uh, business prowess. So guys, um, long time ago, Isli had poor infrastructure, but with time, as you can see for yourself, uh, so much development has taken place. And another thing, it's also known as small Mogadishu and this is because majority of the people are living in this place or business owners uh, come from Somali like their origin from from Somali uh, So guys this place has more shopping malls than anywhere else in Kenya uh, and Yeah, what was once a sleepy residential neighborhood in Nairobi Island has now transform into east africa's commercial hub in just like two decades yeah uh, so guys this place is home to over 50 malls and is where thousands of wholesale and retail traders sell clothing electronics fabrics and many more so yeah i was here for a bag and i got myself this cute one as you can see they have good quality things later on in the week i passed by yaya i needed to get some things from miniso a japanese store based in kenya by the way for all the cutest and affordable accessories guys you can visit miniso and go get yourself some accessory so i basically came to get hair bands <laughs> lol you know guys by the way for a long time i've been tying my hair with rubber bands whoa i know it's old-fashioned but yeah <laughs> so i think with time i got tired with it it's like i got fed up with it so i needed some change so i came here to get my self some so guys since they had varieties of cute hair bands i kind of had a hard time uh, deciding on which one to buy but yeah i decided to settle for that and that's what i got
Yes, thank you.